Now the details here at 530. Philadelphia police are searching for a group who violently attacked a military veteran. The mugging left him shaken and seriously injured. He was ambushed while walking his dog near his brewery town home. Action News reporter John Paul now looking to the details here and spoke with this victim. John. Yeah, and he is pretty shaken up by all this. It happened just over my shoulder on Saturday night. As you mentioned, the military veteran was simply out walking his dog when he was attacked and robbed. Scott Harris served overseas in Iraq and as an advisor in Ukraine, but he didn't get these wounds from an active war zone. He got them in Brewery Town on Saturday night. I thought it was kind of ironic, you know, I spent a year in a war zone and two years in a country that's not so safe. And then uh, I come here and get attacked in my own neighborhood a block from my house. These are the last moments he remembers. You see him taking his dog, Nora, for a walk near 30th Street. He can't remember the beating that happened next because he was left with a brain injury. Next thing you know, I'm in the emergency room getting stitches. The surgeon, he said he stopped counting at 100 on the stitches. The Navy veteran was left with broken teeth, a concussion, and cuts all over his face. His wallet and credit cards were stolen. And so was a special memento. The only thing I cared about was uh, my mother passed, so I had her driver's license in my wallet because I always wanted to keep her close. He and his partner Joseph believe he was attacked by a group of people throwing a party in a kid's park. They had already called police about the gathering, but no one responded. They also believe three women at that party took pity on him, helping to carry him home. When he got back to the house, I realized that he was bleeding. His shirt was soaked, his pants were soaked, and I didn't know if he was stabbed or what. In surveillance, you see an ambulance take him away. He would spend three days in the hospital. But he's not letting the attack change who he is. But he will approach the streets of his own neighborhood a little differently. But you can't let things like this change you or make you not trust people anymore. You just, you know, just maybe need to be a little more vigilant. Uh, he is trying to keep a positive attitude about all this. I mentioned the dog, Nora, the dog he was walking that night. She's okay, although uh, he says that the dog is acting a little bit different. Police are involved in all this, but so far, they have no suspects. Live in Brewertown, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Rick?